All of us, me included, have probably been treating twice as many people with antidepressants as we should have. <clears throat> and maybe up to half of the patients that we've been traditionally treating with antidepressants shouldn't get them. Now, is that a big change of the common cold of psychiatry, the major thing that occurs, major depressive or disorder of some sort, and maybe we've been doing it wrong? <clears throat> How many of you in this room have one of the major headaches in your life being patients with treatment-resistant depression? Yeah. Where do you think that comes from? Does it come from bad illness? Does it come from bad treatment? Does it come from misidentification? of uh, people so that we don't give them the right treatment? And the answer is a little bit of all of the above. But since it's one of the things that's very cool to treat too, because unlike some illnesses like dementia and maybe even some forms of psychosis where you really can't have the patient recover, if you get this right, you take people that have middle class existences, high educations, very productive members of society and make them basically normal. So the stakes are high of doing this right. And I think we're learning that part of this was done wrong. <clears throat> 